Computex 2021 is quickly approaching with the event set to kick off at the end of this month. As you can probably tell though, rather than packing my bags, bidding farewell to the missus and the kids for a totally 100% business related trip that has nothing to do with the bright lights and glamour of Taipei, I'm still sat here talking to you. Lucky me, yeah. Yes, with the continuing pandemic problems around the world, Computex 2021 is again being held as a virtual event. And we must admit, we're kind of a little bit saddened that this is the case. Of course, given the current situation, which I won't even say the name, it makes a hell of a lot of sense. Computex is unimaginatively huge, with masses of people from kind of all walks of life all over the world pushing and crowding every booth available. For us though, this event undoubtedly represents one of the biggest highlights of the year to truly get a big insight as to what's happening and more so, what's on the way in terms of the tech world. So no, we're not going there because there's nothing to go to. Simple as that. I mean, unless the internet in the next two weeks turns into something like it was in the lawnmower man, with this in mind though, you might be wondering if the event is going to be a bit of a dud. Well, following news from Nvidia, there's definitely, well, almost nailed on probably, going to be something to get very excited about. Let's do this. Andy, what are you watching? It's, uh, it's, it's not what you think. Wow, it's so big. Why, thank you. It's the new AOC AG493 UCX, 49 inches of pure performance and a refresh rate of 120 hertz. It's so fast. You can even do two at a time. What? You can connect two devices at a time and split the screen. With FreeSync Premium Pro, a 32 to nine aspect ratio and a built-in KVM, you'll be finished in no time. Gaming, I mean. What, what did you think I mean? Get your mind out the gutter and click the link in the description to find out more. Following an official announcement, Nvidia has confirmed they're gonna be getting Computex 2021 started with a big bang by hosting their keynote address pretty much at the beginning of the event. Well, actually, they're technically playing second fiddle to Intel, who managed to snag the first slot in the schedule. Albeit, we don't really expect to hear much of interest from them unless they're gonna jump the gun on Alder Lake S, and although possible, I mean, I doubt it's really gonna happen. Back on topic though, why is the keynote from Nvidia so important? I mean, Nvidia generally always have something to say at Computex, don't they? And when they do, it's sometimes about something you frankly couldn't care less about, at least if you're a gamer. I mean, let's take a moment though to consider the date and what significance that might actually have. It's gonna be May 31st, and we've certainly seen a lot of rumors regarding not just one, but two product launches for that date. While it's admittedly not written in stone, the overwhelming opinion is that the stars are aligning here for confirmation of the launch of both the Nvidia 3080 Ti and the 3070 Ti. Now, we should stress that while Nvidia has the prominent time slot, they haven't so much as whispered anything specific regarding what's gonna be discussed or what's gonna be revealed. Now, with GeForce Senior Vice President Jeff Fisher hosting the event, it's admittedly curious as to, you know, I mean, where's Jensen? Why is it not being hosted by Nvidia's CEO himself, Jensen Huang? Although not always, he does generally like to be in on the action when a big product launch is made. So, I don't know, make of that what you will, but if you are curious, you should remember that Computex 2021 is a virtual event. The vast majority of the broadcast will be pre-recorded rather than going live. And we've already heard the suggestion that Jensen is 100% definitely going to make an appearance of some kind. Not for the first time, from his rather fancy kitchen, spatulas and all. So yeah, we're probably gonna see him pulling a 3080 Ti and a 3070 Ti out of the oven. But what can we expect from them? Well, in terms of specifications, there are plenty of rumors and speculation out there. Too much, in fact. I mean, the vast majority of it though, at the moment, simply points towards how much VRAM they come with, which for some reason has been one of the most contested and debated subjects regarding graphics cards since, well, pretty much the start of the year. So on that theme, because it's pretty much all we have to work with, following the leaked images of the palette of RTX 3080 uh, Ventuses from MSI, Ventuses, Ventire, whatever you want to call them, but we did see them in transit, it does look likely that the 3080 Ti will come with 12 gig of memory, which certainly sounds like a solid upgrade on the standard 3080, which came with a kind of measly 10 gig. In terms of performance, well, at the risk of sounding patronizing, it will be better than the 3080, but not quite as good as the 3090. Simple, right? 
Though, in that regard, we have heard whispers that the gaming performance between the 3080 Ti and 3090 will be remarkably similar, so that would definitely be something we'll take a closer look at when our samples arrive. For the 3070 Ti though, the information for that GPU is a bit more scarce. Some indications point towards an 8GB memory config, and given that this is identical to the standard 3070, the only way it can really stand out if that is the case would be for it to have a better clock speed or a faster memory interface. I mean, does that really make it worthy of the TI branding? Well, at the risk of offending some, and possibly Jensen himself, the NVIDIA TI branding doesn't really carry the same kind of significance it once did. It feels like pretty much every GPU in their range now gets a TI version at some point. Even NVIDIA themselves don't seem to know whether to stick with it or transition over to Super Series, which made its debut back in 2019. Yeah, it's just a bit confusing to me. Let me know what you guys think. Without a doubt though, this keynote address is going to garner a lot of attention, and particularly so for the practically confirmed launch of the 3080 Ti, and the consumers who really want this new kind of semi-flagship model. The 3070 Ti is also clearly a nice proposition if it comes close to the 3080's performance, but, and it's a big but, especially with everything that's going on in the world, if it comes with a reasonably more friendly price tag. So when does it actually kick off? Well, Nvidia's keynote speech will start on May 31st or June 1st, depending on where you are in the world. And if you wanna check it out as it happens, your best bet really is to keep tabs on the official Nvidia YouTube channel where they're undoubtedly be streaming it to sort of show everyone and yeah, go from there. They also have a microsite on nvidia.com with more information about this stream as well as other talks they'll be doing after. As this is Nvidia though, and this is coming from someone who sat through a lot of announcements from Nvidia. I'm warning you now that if you do watch the keynote live, you can probably expect to see around, around 80% of bloat with about 20% of actual good stuff. As such, if you only want to know kind of all the key highlights and announcements, be sure to check out our website, etechnics.com, and social media channels, as we will actually be watching it, trimming down all the fat, and then delivering you the oh-so-tasty graphics card meat. Yeah. Speaking of getting a delivery, though, you can get your very own eTechnics PC maintenance toolkit over on store.etechnics.com, with everything you need to build, maintain, and repair your PC, including tools for custom loop installation you will be uh, hard luck to find a better product for cheaper. To get yours, click the link in the description below. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys.